Watching a tropical fish peck at her flags of food is incredibly soothing. Since we had to move around a lot because of my father's work, he rarely brought anything hobby related into her home. However, one thing he can never give up on, no matter how many times we move house, was his aquarium. At first he only kept aquatic plants, but after I'd shown interest in tropical fish, he started keeping those too. Since we was often late home, I maintained a tank and looked after a fish in his stead. Truthfully, I'd only taken a liking tropical fish after watching a movie where all the characters were fish. I didn't find him cute enough, but looking down at those vibrant creatures darting about is surprisingly relaxing. Between his demanding job and looking after our family, my dad must have found some welcome relief in his cherished aquarium. Yes, I'm pretty wiped out myself. First week of October has already flown by. Preparations for a Halloween party and a fork swing, whilst keeping track of our progress and attending the club functions, doesn't take up too much of my time. But Council of Nakai is required to lend a hand if anyone asks for help with individual preparations. And there's the costume making, which all students are expected to participate in. You guys sure have it good? I remember back with a smirk, and as though sensing danger, the fish scatter, swimming, eating, and sleeping. I remember being a sort of straightforward instinct to your life. I'll bring him a tang when I see a shadow reflect in the glass. Good day. I see you don't have your other half of you today. Say that as I turn to face a girl behind me. A good day to you too. That's a lone Shidori. Still unused to our school's formal manner of greeting, a grimace mars her pretty face as she were turned to salutation. Going on to inform him, it's not as if I'd joined with him. That's so. I feel like whenever I see you, Yaki feels never far behind. Because I look after her. Do you take care of fish, Yatsura Senpai? We had him at home, so that's for Dormer to let me feed him and clean out the tank from time to time. Uh -huh. What? Oh, nothing. I just didn't peg you for an animal lover. I'd be taken two ways. Hmm. Is that the impression I give? I like pretty much all animals other than snakes. I recall that I've previously had another classmate tell me I don't look like an animal lover too. Is it really that hard to imagine? Seeing me fold my arms sulkily, Takasaki can smile a little. I understand how you feel, Exodus Senpai. People think I hate animals too. I should mention it, she doesn't strike me as a type either. It's hard to picture a rigid, ever composed Takasaki kun playing with animals. Maybe people see me the same way. So I much myself, Takasaki kun sticks a long, pale finger into the and strokes the fish's scales. So you grew up with pets then? I'm a little jealous. You never had a pet? Oh, I right. You must have been busy working, so I guess you didn't have a time. Exactly. To be honest, until recently, I really couldn't have cared less about animals, but... You looked after a bunny for a bit, didn't you? Yes. I suppose it's just out of obligation, but then... I don't know. It was just because I was so soft and fragile. Because I seemed helpless without me. Catching herself, she blushes faintly. I suppose I like why he responded to my care. Her passionate words resonate with me, and I comment that it might have been might be nice to have a pet again someday. Gives a slight nod and follows up by saying that one day she'd like to have a pet rabbit of her own. What pet would you want, Yatsura Senpai? She definitely seems like a, uh, a dog person. You know, I actually said that before I realised there was actually going to be an option. But she definitely does seem like a dog person. I'm a little surprised to hear a probing question from her. Mm. Mm. Yeah. I would have to say a dog. The easy option. You think so? I'm sure cat lovers will stone me for it, but I like uncomplicated, affectionate animals. Fish don't fall under that category though, do they? I remember who takes care of them, and I'll come up to you and say hi. Sounds like fish make good pets too, then. Yeah, but I want to have a properly lovey-dovey pet. See what look my face and let me rub its belly. 
voice I wish I'd secretly harbored for a long time. Looks like he blinks at me and smiles. How oh, cute. <laughs> oh, oh, dark, yeah. Hey, uh, you should, you should team, join Team Dark too. No, it's talking about you. You're cute. Oh, thanks. Feeling my cheeks burn up a straightforward compliment, I coughed to come with my awkwardness. Anyway, if you're here looking after a fish, it means the preparations of Halloween party are going well. They sure are. Ticking along like a switch watch. With one eye still in the fish tank, attack on a but takes a lot of work to make sure things stay that way. Which is why I'm here playing around with fish, trying to get a little downtime. Really? You don't look tired, but maybe that's one of the benefits of unique looks, she says with a lot more seriousness. Us mixed race kids have our own worries about our appearances. Oh, of course, I'm, I'm sorry. She cringes and I shrug to show I'm just messing with her. No biggie. When I visit Toys Hotspots, I'm always being pestered to be in photos of people. I don't look Japanese, so I guess I stand out. I don't think it's because you look foreign, I think it's because you, you look like you. And she remembers quietly reflect how, how I never had expected Takasaki Kun to be so talkative. Feeling suddenly affectionate towards her, I find myself staring at her pretty delicate features. Hmm? What is it? Nothing, I just think our expressions were a lot softer now than when we first met. She needs to want to say something in response, but stops herself. Getting to know your gaki gun must have changed you, set you off on a new path. Indeed. It's all thanks to Erika. She moves quietly, blood staining her cheeks. Then, as she continues treading her finger through the water of a tank, so I'm glad I were both on an equal footing. Equal footing? Yeah, it's nice when you both feel the same way about each other. Couples where one person relies too heavily on the other are doomed to fail. That's so. Personally, I think it's better if you both rely on another a bit. I'd say she only thinks that way because things are going well right now, I would have stopped myself. I should have just said what I just did. I wouldn't afford to be heard in the gun. I would go to my own what feelings to that underclassmen had always seen right through. Instead, I say what's necessary to smooth things over. Quality. I said things are 5 versus 5. When the power dynamic breaks down, it ships to 6 versus 4, then 7 versus 3. If you get a Takasaki gun, multiply them together, 5 times 5 gives 25. 6 times 4 is 24. 7 times 3 is 21. The overall strength of the relationship gradually slips away. I was with you there for a moment, but isn't that a bit of strange metaphor? Looks like she realises it's a stretch. And I smile sardonically. A heavy relationship is just that precious. If you don't know what you got into this garden, just make sure to treasure it what you have for now. So giving advice is probably unwanted, but she smiles and nods. A battery expression makes me feel uncomfortable. So I'd better get get back into a council. Hello Bishi Kun tells me I was while on my way back to a library. Are you coming from a council Nikaya? I haven't actually seen a properly in that uniform yet. I like it. Yeah. We wrapped up a little back, a while back then. Poking my eyes into Takasaki comes to care, but I brought back memories of that day and I wanted to escape from reality for a bit. Of course, I don't tell a bad part. I decided to take a little patrol around the school, but it looks like I have all people and I miss something. I wag my finger at Hanabishi gun, who exited the school building after me. She smiles. I can't believe I, I gave a great Yatsura Senpai the slip. Who would like to walk back to my dormitory together? Sure, why not? Hang on. You're not with Sura Shakes her head in response to my implied question of whether or not we should wait for her. She's not on live duty today, I just wanted to go get a book myself. So you're trying to get a new Amity partner's hobbies, huh? You're a real good partner, Hannah Bishikun. Regard her affectionately as she denies a compliment. But she can fiddling with her braids. 
curious about the book she's holding, ask her. So what books is my way? We're going by where Amity Parton likes, I'm guessing it's starts from the drawing manual. Oh, yes, this one. How's that to show me the title? Yukio Mishima's Confessions of a Masker. I've read it, it's pretty good. I have good taste. How blushy it appears, I feel emotions I experienced while reading Confessions of a Mask. Wish back all over again. Maybe too good. What kind of present would it please you to receive, Yatsuro Senpai? That's an interesting loaded question, isn't it? As we walk our way back to the dorms, Hanabishi kind of startles me with a random question. Happy to accent the voice of worries have been turning over my head. Why oh, came out of the blue? Are you trying to think of a present for someone? Yeah, we always celebrate our classmates' birthday, so... I will give you a receive. Is there anything we are especially happy to get? That one is the easy answer. That one is the uh, fun answer. Look at me on the side behind my lens with lap glasses. I find myself wanting to mess with her. I really don't think you need to be overthinking too much. What? Uh, what? Present. Everyone knows the thought that counts, right? So it's instantly in agreement, then. That's kind of adorable. I like that look of her. Put the moves on her, let her know you're a present. I'm sure Suricon will be delighted. You're giving a gift to someone special. It's obviously going to be Suricon. Suricon's birthday is in March. Suricon, don't get too close. This is embarrassing. I see. The heart belongs to Suricon alone. That's a shame. When I pull back from her, she's flushed from the tip of her nose to the roots of her hair. My always continued playing me as I gaze at a figure of my underclassman, illuminated by the crimson rays of a setting sun. I hunch down a little as the chill autumn air caresses my neck. I know. It's time to get cold. So how about a scarf or a pair of gloves? A scarf or gloves? We just got a school once. Sing hand-knitted. Be cute and stylish. Perfect for a gift, don't you think? Yes, if we see something like that from Suicide, I'll be so happy I could die. Smile to herself. I knew it was for Suicide. A scarf, huh? I guess she got so flustered because it like I read like thoughts. What was that? Oh, nothing. I was just thinking that I'm going to be worrying about it anyway. Might as well take action myself. I'm talking about the Halloween party. No. I mean, there's birthday present. October 17th. Feeling like Hanabishi comes unknowingly giving me a kick my butt I needed. I clap on my back and thank her. Hi. Uh, you're welcome. What I actually do will depend on my mood at the moment, but however much I despise change, let's hope inside me that perhaps things will be different once I've been able to celebrate my best friend's birthday together with her. I scratched my head. Guess I was off a mark. After my conversation with Halabishi Kun yesterday, I decided to knit something from Nevi for my birthday. However, I'm looking for my knitting holy bible. However, I guess I'm too late. It doesn't take a genius to realise the whole school is in the middle of their preparations for Halloween. What's all the books and dressmaking been checked out? We should have learned to knit back then too. Of course, anything about knitting has been snapped up as well. I learned to sew at an early age, starting with replacing the buttons of my father's coats and moving on to stitching up my brother's ripped jeans. But I've never learned to knit. I've been a fad for a while when I was in elementary school, but for some reason, I never found it embarrassing and join, never joined. Glance over towards the librarian's desk, but she isn't there. In case she's not on duty today. I'm sort of relieved. I've been feeling awkward ever since stirring up by telling her to aim for the presidency of a council. My emotions are conflicted, I want to see her, but at the same time, I'm nervous when it's about talking to her. Now then, what to do, what to do? You know what? 
I'm going to end the episode. Bye-bye.